It's just a very involved... All of the Jiggies in this world are a very involved process to get, except for the, uh... I think except for the Volcano one. Actually, how many Jiggies do we have in this world? Not many. Only two! We also only have one Jinjo. This is not good. Useless airflame, Yo, your kid retrieval rate is still 0%. Hey, I didn't even know you were still alive. That was Mumbo who did that. Anyhow. We can build drill this. What's wrong with it? Beats me. You can try beak to mouth res resuscitation. Ah, no chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. Yeah, now we have to go back and have Mumbo bring the baby alien back to life. Wow. They put a ba dead baby girl in this game and rated E for everyone. The stuff they could get away with. I know I could have just grabbed the ledge, I but that's too slow. Hey, baby alien. Oh, he's adorable. Thanks, Aerithlene. Does he have a little Jinjo plushie? That's yeah, adorable. It's so cold, it's so cold, it is really cold. Anyhow, Saberman needs our help now. Aww. He does he have a little He does have a little Jinjo plushie. Aw, that's cute. I like how the aliens come back as well. And also, if you do not save the aliens from Jolly Rogers Lagoon, then you won't. Then they won't appear here until you do, as you probably could have guessed. All right, this is one of the few times of the game where fire eggs are actually a useful and b necessary. I mean, we probably shouldn't be burning this guy to cure his frostbite, but whatever works. Ah, oh, that's so much better! Glad to help an old hero! Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 winks. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Of course! This sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now. If you've been here since 1984, there's no way your tent should logically be still be standing. But this is video game logic, so of course. We've got to go find some split up pads. Leave it to the stupid dragon to be like, Oh, you're not gonna fall asleep and refill your HP. That's not happening. Alright, there we go. Back to full HP. Hey, Saberman. You're safe with me. Unfortunately, as you may imagine, we can't you Okay, we wait, okay, so we can use Snooze Pack when we're carrying Saber Man, and we can even use Shack Pack. I'm not really sure why. The whole point of these Banjo's moves is to utilize an empty pack. Wow! That was very rude of you, Bigfoot. I'm gonna tell Bigfoot about you. Anyhow, helping Saber Man back to his tent is super easy if you have all the work pads, because we can literally just warp back to the fiery side near Mumbo's skull. <laughs> Quote unquote near Mumbo's skull, as in slightly closer than the other fiery side work pad. And his tent is right over here. Here you go, Saber Man. Ah, oh, my tent! My equipment! It's just as I left it all those years ago. 
It's probably worthless anyway. Ah, uh, my treasure is still here, too. You may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece. No use to me. I'm hanging up my boots. Thanks, Saber Man. Okay, so we've gotten the Volcano one, the Kickball one, and now Saber Man. Alrighty. While we're still split up, I, there's actually something we need to do is just Kazooie. Alright. Go to the icy side lower area, because that's where we left Kazooie. Alright. So you'll remember that one of the aliens is one of the alien kids is dead right now, which is horrible. And then another one is hiding up high on a ledge. And he's just kind of shivering. Well, that's the one we're gonna try to get. It's okay, no, we can't just leg spring up there. Alright. But you know what we can do? First off. Can you leg spring all the way up? No, okay. Well, here comes the ice dragon. Also, Kazooie has one HP. Okay. We're gonna clock Lambert Boots. <sighs> Please just jump up here. Okay, thank you. And now we're gonna clock Lambert all the way up here. We haven't actually done this yet. Okay, this is probably what I'm gonna save for last, but... Once we're up here... There's a hole up here. You can go up. You can go on up, but I'm not. I'm gonna save that for later. But what we can do, we can jump and we can glide. And the platform up here is where the alien is. Banjo is not able to get up here just because we. Cool, a little alien baby. Not me. Don't look at me, kid. Is it so cold, mommy, daddy? Me no like cold Earthling planet. So he's cool. Well, we heated up Saber Man with fire eggs. Not grenade eggs! No, no, no. If you knock me off. So unfortunately, fire eggs are not heating it up. So how do you heat it up? Why? You gotta hatch it. Apparently... Rude! I'm trying to hatch this baby's head. Yeah, hatching apparently is what you need to do in order to warm it up. Kind of a tricky puzzle, that, honestly. It took me a while to figure this out. But there we go. Sitting on his head, warmed him up. Great! Me nice and toasty now! Time to go home! You could just teleport away anytime you wanted? Alright, fine. Oh, can we talk to Boggy with just Kazooie? What, what happens? Any progress with my fish yet? Now, oh, keep looking, won't you? Now, if I set my satellite to this, I reckon it should be time for bear babes and Eskimos. All right, that was not worth it. Boggy, you need to take a good long look at yourself. Now there's actually something we can do with just Banjo. Okay, we're gonna join them together and then split them apart again in order to boost up our max HP. There we go. Alright. We're gonna go to the upper side of the fire area. There was a second pool of scalding hot water that we can enter as just Banjo. Ouch. Will this protect me from the- No, it will not. Yeah, those lava hands are the worst. Anyhow, this is the pool I wanted to go to. If you have the shack pack ability, we can jump on in. First, there's this- oh, that fish has seen better days. We get a fish, and there's also a Jinjo down here. So never read Jinjo. We're one away from getting their heirloom. Excuse me. 
Yeah, because, like, the game... Yeah, they, they don't actually reach out to try and grab you until you get really close. And then they expect you to jump away from it, but then they also expect you to, uh... uh they also expect you to avoid the dragon's fireballs. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff happening all at once. Alright, Kazooie. Well, that fish was, um, roasted alive in that pool, so it's actually perfectly cooked and ready for Boggy to eat, so let's give it to him. I know we should not be enabling this very bad behavior on his part, but maybe he'll give us a jiggy if we do. <laughs> this is terrible. This is a terrible mentality to have. Oh, also, there's the jiggy for the oil rig that we have to grab as well. Any progress with my fish yet? No! Nah, oh, keep looking, won't you? Now if I set my satellite... We definitely Ooh. have it. <laughs> Pantra just lied. It's like, nope! Then fro we throw it in his mouth. And then he spits out a Jiggy. You've eaten like two or three Jiggies at this point, buddy. Oh. What, what was that? Oh. Wow, the fish must have swallowed a Jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I got stuff to watch. Boggy, you are setting a bad example for uh, dads everywhere. I repeat, people, don't be a Boggy. Anyhow. Now we gotta go and grab the oil rig, Jiggy. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna need to split up once again. We need to split up a lot in this world. Anyhow, the oil rig is over on the upper side. So let's head on over there. I also low-key don't remember where the train switch to the fire is, train station is. It's somewhere on the lava side, I know that. You can do Banjo's high jump like the... in order to get up there, but double jump pack whack is, again, easier. All right, so there's this oil pipeline here. There's a tiny little hole in here. Remember how Shack Pack lets you move through tiny holes. We do this. And we're back in Grunty Industries in the basement waste disposal plant. And we grab ourselves a jiggy. And again. We can look and we can see the waste disposal plant. Anyhow, we should probably get out of this oil pipeline. <laughs> Can't be good for our health. I'm still concerned about having to get the Jiggy over in the behind the Colosseum gate. Because I still don't know exactly how to get that. Oh well. Also I think I, I think that there's something in the Icicle Grotto that we've missed as well. First, let's boost our HP again. Although, actually, while we're here, we may as well go back to Mumbo and revive the aliens. So I'll just cut back to when we actually get Mumbo over here. Mumbo getting weird sense of deja vu. Mumbo feel like we already have done this before. Yes, Mumbo, but it's a different target. I wonder if you could smash the ice earlier before the babies... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that alien has a... <laughs> He's a little yellow... <laughs> little yellow onesie. <laughs> Did somebody say ice cubes? No, stop it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hope this works again. Life force on the alien child. Mumbo, where are you getting this life force? Do not question. Yay, we bring the baby back to life. Jesus would be proud. Thank you. Earthling's not all brain dead. Wow! Thanks, a little Susie and your ray gun. Let's see if I help you guys again. You have done well, Airflame, but I shall now have to exterminate you all for taking so long. Er, uh, have you kids seen my laser anywhere? 
Ah, I must be on the ship. Your race is spared for now, Earthling. Stand clear, beaming up, sequence initiating. Wow, what a, an ungrateful jerk. We saved all of your kids for you. And they all go up in the tractor beam and live happily ever after. And they drop a jiggy for us. Whether on purpose or an accident, we don't care. Stupid dragon. That was uncalled for. Here, Mumbo, you can get a Jiggy for yourself. Okay, we got a lot of Jiggies in a short amount of time, which is very nice. All right, we are done with both Wamba and Mumbo for the rest of this level, which is very nice. Because I don't particularly like playing as Mumbo, and I definitely don't like playing as the Snowball. All right, I think what I need to do now is I need to start looking... I need to explore the fiery side a little bit more. And I'm going to use the flight pad to my advantage. <laughs> flight pad makes navigating the lava side infinitely easier. I need to find the, the train switch. There's also the hollow honeycomb piece we didn't get. Yeah, look at how vast the fiery side is. Yeah, hollow honeycomb piece is over here. There's the little ledge that you can grab near this icy entrance. Yeah, there it is. Okay, easy there, dragon buddy. He's like, hey, flight pad is cheating. You're supposed to solve all the lovely puzzles to navigate the terrain more efficiently. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. Big! And then he took that person. Alright, can we please get back to the flight pad as soon as possible? Because I don't like having to navigate this level without a flight pad. Oh, that's right. We can get a, a sh we have the shortcut to the flight pad via Saberman's tent. Oh, Saberman's over there getting some well-earned rest. Yeah, remember how we opened up this shortcut here? Yep, this just takes us right to the other side of the lava side. Where this lovely flight bike pad is. Alright, we have all the hollow honeycomb pieces now. I, I think if memory serves, the train switch is somewhere on the uh, Coliseum arches. Could that be it? There it is. Beautiful. Now we have both train stations unlocked. How lovely. Ouch. Oh, hey, there's a switch over here for just banjo, apparently. Okay. Here, it takes us back to the Coliseum Kickball Lobby. Okay. Is there a switch over here that I never pressed? There is. I bet you that switch would have helped us out a lot uh, if we had pushed it earlier. It's very well hidden, though. Actually, that's really well hidden. We have to claw clamber up the pole and then just take a blind jump down, don't we? I think that's all we have to do. This better be worth it. Okay, that makes a couple of pillars for... Ah, that's right. There's our Jinjo friend. Oh, wait. Is there just a... No. 
All right. Well, we gotta find a way to get just Banjo on that switch. I remember the to open the gate where it has the jiggy behind it. You need to do a very precise series. You need to constantly push up, do it this huge like switch pressing bonanza. You can also cheese it. There is a way to cheese it by firing a very precise clockwork. Head. It's called like a parallel shot where. If you fire the egg, like, perfectly par uh, perpendicular to, or I guess perfectly parallel to where this is, you can make it actually clip inside. I'm not going to actually try to do it, but that's how speedrunners do it. <laughs> and it's probably going to be easier in the ball run, but I'm not going to try out glitches in order to get my jiggies. Maybe if I can get it to work, I'll show it off in a bonus video. Youch! All right. Everything. Yeah, I think there's something in the Icicle Grotto that we missed. There's that Cheeto page in there, and I know that there's not a link from somewhere else. So, I'm pretty sure there's just a way somewhere we can go. Oh, wait, hang on. It might be... Is there something we need to glide into from really high up? It could be that. Aha! There's a Jinjo way up there. Yeah, Kazooie's glide opens up basically the entire world. Like, so many... There are so many Jiggies where it's like, oh, well, uh... Yeah, we kind of want you to have Kazooie's glide ability in order to get that. Yeah. So we like start from up here. Yeah, the cave is all the way down there. So we're gonna leg sprain and then you can actually like after the end animation of the leg sprain you can glide, yep. Yeah. And we can glide all the way up into this cavern up here, and I think that's gonna be the last brown Jinjo. Nope, we still have one more. I'm gonna explore with just Kazooie. The fact that this whole Isoko Grotto is kind of dark is a little bit tricky. There might be like a really tiny gap somewhere that we can fire like a clockwork egg into. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Cheeto Page, there's like a branching path somewhere in the Icicle Grotto that we either we fire like a clockwork egg into, or we glide from above, or there's some secret passageway we can take. Well, if there are any icicles hanging from the ceiling that actually look like we can blow them up. Oh well, we'll keep our eyes out for that for the future.